Hello everyone and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. I have a day of fall cleaning and decorating on my list and it should be no surprise that I'm starting in the bedroom. <laughs> I start every day by making the bed but today I need to change the sheets and swap out the bed linens for something a bit more seasonal. Duvet covers are a little more work to take off and put back on again but they're easy to clean and they don't take up as much space as a comforter so they're also easy to store. We have two quilts and two duvets that I can mix and match together. It's a simple and easy way to change things up. I don't do a lot of seasonal decorating around the house but I do like to change up the bedding with the seasons and I usually pull out the dark blue for fall and winter. When we wake birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun um we know what we have let's hold on tight found what we're looking for in life call us crazy but things are finally right the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times You and I can weather any storm Before I sleep Crickets see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times You and I can weather any storm I need to wash the shams along with the quilt today, but I was trying to decide if I wanted to swap them out or not. So I put them back on the bed to see what it looked like with the blue quilt. I do like the beige shams with the white quilt, but not as much with the blue. So I decided to swap them out with the blue shams and I think it works out much better. If only I could finish something, run straight through to the end. There's a lot that goes on in this space and it doesn't take very long for things to pile up. There's an assortment of deliveries, cleaners, groceries, and laundry that's piled up on the counter that I need to put away so that I don't get behind on the laundry. I always like to clean up as I go so that things don't have a chance to pile up, but things don't always have a place where they belong and there are times when I'm in the middle of something that I need to finish up, so things just get dropped off here. I 
Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Most of the laundry from yesterday (laughs) is already folded and it just needs to be put away, but there's still a batch of cleaning cloths that I need to take care of. But before I can fold them up and put them away, I want to give the countertops a quick wipe down. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down I like to wash microfiber cloths in cold water and dry them on a very low heat. It's much better to wash them separately. Lint and fibers from other fabrics stick to the microfiber like magnets, and then there are things like zippers that can snag on the fibers, but I don't ever have enough to run a separate load. So instead, I use mesh laundry bags so that I can wash them with the rest of the clothes. The mesh bags protect the microfiber and prevent lint and fibers from sticking to them. Sit around and wait all day You lay easy on my mind Like a candle I just burn away All we really have just a few things that I need to do before I take the laundry upstairs and put it away. Whenever I change the sheets on the bed, I know it's also time to swap out the cover on the sofa. But without Miss Kelly napping up here, I don't need to swap out the cover every week like I used to. So now I swap it out every few weeks or so. Although I do keep switching it out more from habit than anything else. I'm not sure if we actually need it here anymore. So I might just try to phase it out and see what happens. I don't make a lot of changes around the house. Once I find something I like, I tend to keep it around, (laughs) but things don't last forever. The pillows we have are worn out and they need to be replaced. The stuffing is breaking down. I can't just replace the cover, so I had to buy a new feather insert. I found this pillow cover and thought it would be the perfect pairing with the leather pillows. They have a nice fall vibe. I went for a smaller size this time because it makes for a better headrest. (laughs) The leather pillows are 20 inches and the floor print is 18 inches, but they do come in different sizes and colors, so I'll be sure to leave a link in the description box.
I started hanging up shorts in the closet a few years ago to help free up some drawer space and I've had the same plastic pant hangers for so long <laughs> they're starting to fall apart now so I'll need to start looking for a replacement soon. I've collected them all from retail stores over the years. Whenever I buy something from a local retail store I ask to keep the hangers and they usually don't have a problem with that. I have just enough hangers for the number of shorts that I have and I've also added hooks to each hanger so that I can chain them together. They help organize and free up closet space. I don't use them for everything, but they're perfect for short items like shorts because I can hang several pairs together without them touching the floor. Running from all things at once Without thinking twice And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind Ooh, This road that I am on Gotta stay here the hamper is starting to get full, so I need to start another load of laundry, but I also have a few loads of sheets and blankets that I need to wash. <laughs> I'm not going to wash them all today. I'm going to start with the blankets so that I can fold them and put them away today, and then I can wash the sheets and duvet covers the next day. When I wash whites, I like to add some type of laundry booster like OxyClean or Borax. I also like to add vinegar to the rinse cycle. We have very hard water in our area and the vinegar helps to soften the water, which also helps to prevent buildup so that the clothes come out cleaner. You and if you found a way from the dark. Fall is the perfect time for all things pumpkin, <laughs> so of course I need to make a batch of pumpkin muffins. I always like to have muffins on hand for a quick breakfast with some fruit or a light snack in the afternoons. The recipe calls for one and a half tablespoons of pumpkin spice blend, but I don't have any on hand, so I'm going to use one teaspoon each, ground ginger, nutmeg, and cinnamon, and then one half teaspoon of ground cloves. And they go. This is a quick and easy grain-free recipe and I'll be sure to leave a link for this one in the description box. I already have the rest of the dry ingredients measured out for banana bread and this recipe has the same ingredients as banana bread. I just need to swap out the pumpkin for the bananas and add a few more spices. I always like to measure out the dry ingredients for things like quick bread in advance and then I store them in mason jars in the pantry. That way half the work is already done so I just need to measure out the wet ingredients and mix everything together. Walnuts are another fall favorite. Nuts are completely optional in this recipe, but I'm going to mix in about a cup of chopped walnuts for an additional fall flavor and texture. But walnuts are also healthy in fats and other nutrients. I like to use larger pieces of nuts, so I'm just going to give them a coarse chop before I mix them into the batter.
This recipe makes one loaf of pumpkin bread, but I'm scooping the batter into silicone muffin liners instead. I was able to get eight jumbo sized muffins out of this batch. Most quick bread recipes need to bake for about an hour, but I found that muffins only need about half that time. I don't want to overcook them or burn them, so I'll set a timer and check on them in about 20 minutes. There's not much cleanup left to do, so while the muffins are in the oven, I'll have plenty of time to take care of the dishes and clean up the kitchen. The one drawback of most pumpkin recipes is that it doesn't use up a full can of pumpkin, so I need to store the leftovers in the fridge until I can find another pumpkin recipe, or I could always add it to a smoothie. I found a few things to update the patio for fall, but these lampshades will work for every season. They won't fit the lamps that I bought these for because they don't have a bulb to clip onto. So before I can use them, I need to cut out the wire that clips onto the bulb. And I'm just using a pair of wire cutters to cut out the part that's in the way. I've had these rechargeable LED lamps for over a year now. They're dimmable, so they always have the perfect amount of light, but they were a little plain, so I wanted to dress them up a little, and I just love the warmth and interest that the wicker adds. These lamps may look top heavy, but the base is weighted so they don't wobble or fall over in the wind, and because they don't have a cord to bother with, I can put them anywhere. We've had these candles out here for a few summers now, but it got so hot this summer that they melted so it's time for them to go and I can just replace them with this cordless lamp so that we still have light out here in the evenings. Having a neutral palette out here on the patio makes it easy to add color for seasonal interest. I found these pillow covers and they add just a touch of fall color to balance out the annuals that I have for the patio. I've been reusing the same pillows for over five years now. The pillows that we have on this love seat aren't the most comfortable, so I decided to spring for new inserts. We cover everything up when it rains, but there are times when we get an unexpected shower that gets everything wet. The inserts I found are water repellent, so I can leave them outdoors without having to worry too much if they get rained on. Golden, golden 
Fall is my favorite time of year. The weather starts to cool off and the light takes on a golden quality as the shadows start to stretch out. The periwinkle that I had in these pots over the summer didn't do very well, so I need to replace them. I'm not sure what happened. I planted the same thing the year before and they did very well. So I'm not sure if it's the heat that we have this year or if they just got too much water, but I've been moving the surviving plants to another part of the yard to see if they'll make it. I went to the nursery looking for pansies to last through the winter, <laughs> but I found a half-off sale instead, so I came home with marigolds. I'm not sure if the marigolds will make it through the winter, but they're perfect for fall, and they'll complement the purple fountain grass that I picked up to go along with them. Another reason I picked up the fountain grass is because I needed something to tie in the pink geraniums. <laughs> I propagated the geraniums from cuttings last year and they grow as perennials here, so I wanted to find a way to work them in with the orange marigolds. It's not something that I would have picked out together, but I do like the way it turned out. The last few years we've been plagued with mosquitoes. We've never had an issue with mosquitoes before that, but this new variety that's invaded is active during the day. So we have to figure out a way to get rid of them so that we can actually sit out here. So I'm hoping that adding marigolds will help keep them away. Basil and marigolds are good companion plants and both repel pests. So hopefully the combination will help. I've never tried growing dahlias, so I'm not sure what to expect, but they have just a touch of pink in them, so I thought I'd give them a try. Our first frost date isn't until December, so they should make it through the fall. I thought about adding the pink geraniums in with the dahlias, but the leaves were too similar and I didn't have enough to fill both pots. I got the idea to add begonias while I was at the nursery. I almost picked up a few plants, but I already have plenty of begonias growing at our front door and they're easy enough to transplant, so I just stole a few begonias from the front. The begonias have more contrast in the leaves and they have the same colors as the fountain grass and the pink in the begonias help to balance out the pink in the geraniums. And because the begonias are are more established, they'll have more of an impact in this arrangement. I wasn't sure about combining pink with a fall color palette, but it was fun to try something different, and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Something about you that day I can still hear the shimmering 
I always say that this outdoor space is my favorite room in the house. <laughs> We're blessed with mild temperatures for most of the year, so we can enjoy it year round. I absolutely love how the changes turned out. Everything has a cozy fall vibe, and the mums are just starting to open, so I have quite a show to look forward to. The only thing I need to do before I sit down outside and enjoy the rest of the afternoon is fold up the quilt and put it away. I don't switch out the blankets and quilts every week like I do the sheets and towels, so I like to store the blankets in plastic bags to protect them from dust and odors. I'm not sure why, but linens seem to get a musty smell when they sit in the closet for months at a time, so to keep them smelling fresh, I like to add a dryer sheet into the bag. I woke up in the middle of the night mm -hmm, na, na, na. And I wondered how you're always right It gets me I couldn't see You showed me how to believe Still gets me That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications before you go. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I hope to see you next time. It is hard to share my thoughts. Ooh.